Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the effective depth. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the effective depth and the method that how we calculate the effective depth of any beam or slab section. So, uh, first to define the effective depth, uh, it can be defined as that it is the distance, it is the distance from the extreme From the extreme fiber of compression zone of compression zone to the to the centroid of tension steel centroid of tension steel so it can be defined as the distance from the extreme fiber of the compression zone to the centroid of tension steel. What it means, so uh, if I take an example here of any beam section, let's consider this is any beam of H, uh, having the height depth of the beam is represented by H. It is the total depth of beam. And uh, let's suppose that we design this beam and we put the reinforcement, the, re, uh, the three uh, bars are used in the, at the bottom for tensile stresses. So, uh, the depth is represented by H. Now the effective depth can be defined as, as we know that there are the uh, neutral axes in the beams. So at uh, the, the bow we have compression zone while at the top, uh, bottom we have the tension zone. So it's a stress diagram can be like that. It has uh, tens tensile stresses here and compressive stresses at the top. So we can define the effective depth that it is the distance from the extreme fiber of compression zone so these are the compression so the distance from the extreme fiber of the compression zone taking distance from here up to the to the centroid of the tension steel centroid of the tension steel means the reinforcement here used uh, to the centroid of the reinforcement so the centroid of the reinforcement is the middle of the reinforcement up to this point so up to this distance from the top of the compression zone to the centroid of the tension steel we call as the B. Effective depth is represented by usually by a D, keep small letter D. So we represent here by a D. So this distance is now called as the effective depth. And how we calculate this distance? So uh, if this is the D effective depth is equal to the, uh, if this is total depth of any, any beam, uh, let's suppose that uh, it, its total depth is 20 inches. So I put it here to 20 inches and I will subtract the uh, this distance from the bottom to the centroid of the tension steel. So I will come out with the effective depth. So 20 uh, subtracting the value of clear cover. Here is the clear cover up to the uh, tension reinforcement. So the clear cover distance is usually taken as, now in case of the beams, they are usually taken as 1.5 inches. So I subtract the uh, 20 inches, the 1.5 inches is the clear cover for the uh, tensile reinforcement, 1.5 in case of the beams. And then again, uh, the, uh, the middle depth of the reinforcement. So uh, in this case, for example, if these are uh, number eight bars are used, uh, three number eight bars are used. Uh, there are three and these are number eight bars. And as we know that the number eight bar dia is number eight bar uh, diameter is one inches one inches so the half of the one inches will be equal to the 0.5 inches so I will again subtract the 0.5 inches from that uh, so we will get the effective depth of this beam which comes out to be uh, 18 inches so in this case the effective depth of our uh, beam section is 18 inches how uh, first we take the total depth and then we subtract the clear cover which was 1.5 and then we subtract the middle depth of the uh, uh, reinforcement which was 0 0.5 uh, we subtract this value from the total depth we get the effective depth of the uh, beam section uh, we can also find the effective depth of the slab uh, similar is the case of the slab uh, but uh, we should subtract the clear cover of the slab uh, in case of the slab we have the clear cover of 0.75 inches so this was all about the to do topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos 
and thank you for watching our video. Thank you.